I don't know how we're gonna get this done in time, but we just have to do it. So uh, let's, let's just hop into it. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we have a GT3 here in the shop. This car is getting a full vinyl wrap. It's getting tiny bot vinyl. This is a difficult car. It is a difficult vinyl to use. It's gonna be a tough job. Let's see what we got done on it so far. Taking all these plastic rivets out. That way I can get the door handles off, this mirror off, make everything easier to vinyl wrap. Knowing what to take off and what order to take it off in um, can be a little tricky. Cause you're trying not to break any clips or anything like that. So you just want to be careful about it. So far we have the mirrors taken off, we have the handles taken off, and we also got the wing taken off. We are pretty much going to have every single thing off this car, all the badges, the bumper, the wheels, like every single thing this car is going to be completely stripped down. Um, so that's just going to make it really easy to tuck this vinyl in. Like Mitch was saying, this is a kind of difficult film to work with. Uh, it's a little thicker, it doesn't conform as well because it's calendar cast hybrid. So it's just kind of finicky. And so um, that being paired with a really difficult car, a lot of curves and bubbles and everything, it's just a really round car and that's just going to be like two different things making it really challenging. So uh, hopefully we can make that work. Plan is uh, to go ahead and start taking these bumpers off, but they are a different kind of uh, different kind of lug. They have center lugs. And so we have to have a special tool to get those off. And so we're kind of waiting on that so that we can go ahead and take those off and then in turn get the bumper off and uh, get this all uh, ready to go so that we can just start prepping it and uh, get it ready for me to start installing. All right guys, so it's day two on this Porsche GT3. We have everything taken off that we want to take off. We're just doing a little bit of the uh, the prep, just going over the edges and wraparounds and making sure that when the vinyl is on there, it's going to stay on there and the edges are going to stay sealed down. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to go over some of that, double check it, and then we're just going to start slapping some vinyl on here. All right, so I got the door cut out here and I'm just going to go ahead and install it. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to see what happens. say is maybe pull it back to like right here because it's on the flat enough where it's like kind of going up on the face so you could end it like like right here somewhere like okay right there so is it this line here is okay like just see how see how it kind of drifts up uh -huh. where it, it's it's where the drift up starts you could curve it like right there if, I get pulled. It, we're kind of in a tricky situation we kind of got hit with a little roadblock so last week I was working on this and I came down super sick and uh, it kind of just put a hold on everything. Uh, so now we're super behind and uh, we need to get this done as soon as possible. Everybody that can is going to be working on this thing and I'm going to be working late on this thing. I don't even know how late. I don't know how we're going to get this done in time, but we just have to do it. So uh, let's, let's just hop into it. I'm doing the inlays on the bumper. Dan's helping me with the inlays and uh, we're just going to try and start the bumper and get it knocked out. Just trying to get this ready so that we can uh, get it mounted up, get the main bumper piece wrapped. So when I mount this bumper up here, I don't want to damage the work that we already did because we're already behind. So why make it worse and you know damage our panel? So this just keeps us from uh, from causing anything uh, bad. Here, and you had to stretch a little bit and more, then, yeah. And then, so that's kind of what I've been. Uh, yeah, yeah. So another thing that you can do that might help is um, you can take these screws out, and it takes the the bottom off, and so it gives you somewhere where you can tuck it. Yeah. There's just some. There was PPF on this bumper before we, uh, well, like when it first came in, and uh, it just left some glue, and you know we were looking it over right before I was about to start, you know, installing the vinyl, and there's just still some glue on the edges and stuff, and so. Just more time, time we don't have really, honestly, but. A little update, I'm chugging along on this thing. There's so many cuts and things to be uh, really patient with. For me personally, I'd say it's pretty challenging just 
between it being a red Porsche and it being tiny bot, um, there's a lot of variables that make it challenging, but I'm gonna get it done and uh, that's just what I do, I guess. Alright guys, so uh, we have spent a lot of late nights working on this thing and it looks like we're finally getting it buttoned up. I just knocked out the mirrors and uh, we're just doing the reassembly and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and go over all the edges, make sure there's no lifting and uh, just do a final check and then we are going to get this thing out of here and uh, it looks pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. I'd say the hardest part of this car, 100%, was the wing on the trunk. It like is part of the trunk and it just like, the, I, I don't even have words to explain how crazy it was. It was it was a headache and by the end of it I couldn't even think straight but we got it done. I think this color is pretty sick. I really do. I didn't like it at first but the more panels we did the more it kind of just tied together you know. They were prepped last week, but whenever I'm trying to peel them off of here, it's like almost no glue is staying on the badge. It's like all staying on the thing. I know you have like a yeah. little method. These also have the uh, raised edges. Yeah. So we're gonna, that uh, stuff's not gonna cheat, it's not gonna work. So we're should I use the, th sliver up the, the thicker one? Okay, that's fine. So this glue that is on here is actually not gonna work because it has raised edges on the, uh, on the letters. So I have to get all this glue off of all of these and then use the uh, other roll of adhesive like that that we have over there. And I just have to basically chop a bunch of little pieces up. I'm just going over the edges right now. And uh, anywhere where it looks like there's a little too much stretch, I'm just giving it a little heat and relaxing it and then just using some little uh, pieces of edge tape just to make sure it lasts. It's really hard to see if you apply it clean, the tape, but it, it's, you'll always have like a little edge where you can see it, but it hides really well if it's clean and, and the heat does kind of like suck it down a little bit. So uh, we got this all finished up and pulled outside and I gotta say this color looks crazy in the sun. I'm really happy with how it came out and I really hope the customer is happy with it too. But I'm gonna give it a final once over and then we are gonna send this customer on their way. So uh, thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.